Mr. Julius Abure remains the authentic chairman of the Labour Party. There is no two ways about it. Those who are fighting the Labour Party, their fight is in vain. That we are in control of the party. I remain the national chairman of the party. And we are not divided. And, and, I, and I assure you that we continue, we continue to provide leadership. Our cases in court, we continue to defend them. Our House of Prayer cases, we defend them to the end. Our senatorial cases, we defend them to the end. And the presidential election petition will defend to the end. Yes, sir. No amount of distraction will stop us. So guys, Peter Obi's supporters have paid Mr. Abure a solidarity visit to show their support for his leadership as the Labour Party authentic chairman. Meaning that they are not in support of a papa and they vowed never to accept mr papa for the labor party chairman take a look at this for us it's not about dr julius abure it's not about labor party but it's about a nigeria that is possible for our own children and the next generation yes. but we will not sit down in our comfort zone and see miscreants want to take over the party that belongs to the Nigerian people. Anyone whom have decided to collect whatsoever from anybody, whether APC or PDP, we will not allow them have a breathing space under the Labour Party. Yes. We voted for Labour Party. We voted for Peter Obi. We are in court because the president of Nigeria, President Muhammadu Buhari, in connivance with Ahmed, with um, the Labour, with the um, INEC chairman, to take the vote of the Nigerian people by hook or by crook, we say no. The reason why we are here is to pay homage and to pay solidarity. Um, INEC chairman cannot plant miscreants in Labour Party. PDP cannot plant miscreants in Labour Party. Yeah. APC cannot plant miscreants in Labour Party. Yes. We have decided to say no to miscreants. We are here to say yes to Labour Party. We are here to say yes to Peter Obi. We are here to say yes to every chairman representing the 36 states and the FCT right in this gathering. We are saying yes to the Nigerian people. Yes, sir. We are saying yes to the vote we gave yes. to Peter Obi. And we are here to say yes to our country called Nigeria. Yes. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I think it is time for the Labour Party chairman to speak to the people who voted for Peter Obi using his party. If you know, and you know, and you know, and you know, and you know, you love Peter Obi, say Labour Party. Labour Party. If you know, and you know, and you know, that you believe in the leadership of Julius Abure, say Abure! Abure! If you know, and you know, and you know, that Nigeria will change with uh, Labour Party as the power behind 2023 general election, I want you to give three Bosa to this party. Bosa! 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 Chairman, the floor is yours. All of you for paying this solidarity visit. I want to seize this opportunity to also appreciate all the state chairmen that left the other crowded engagements to also be in this gathering today. I appreciate all other members of the National Working Committee who are here. I appreciate all members of the support group who are here today, who were in court and who are also here. I want to appreciate the NLC, I appreciate the TUC, who mobilized workers in their numbers today to be present in court, and they are also here. I um, have listened carefully to your uh, address and your presentation, and to say that I appreciate you for coming to pay this solidarity visit. As we always say, we are law-abiding uh, citizens. Um, we have tried and we have obeyed the court's restraining order. And by today, the judge gave a ruling assuming jurisdiction. I need to make it abundantly clear that the substantive matter itself has not started. There was a, a motion 
there was um, a, a preliminary objection to the jurisdiction of the courts. And the court today assumed jurisdiction. And for me, um, I'm ready to go on appeal. Uh, in the next few hours, we will be submitting our notice of appeal to the court and we will remove all the matters from that court and take it to the court of appeal. I believe that I will get justice in the court of appeal. I believe that Labour Party will get justice in the court of appeal. Yes. Because this same court in the FCT in 2023 in the case of Suleiman against APC did the same thing. And the law reports Suleiman against APC 2023, a law report decided by the Supreme Court made it very clear that this matters before the court, the court has no jurisdiction. And so that's where we are standing. And I believe that whatever the judge has done today cannot stand before the court of appeal. I have confidence that the court of appeal will do the right thing. And therefore, all our papers will be in by today. And I'm sure that by Monday, the appeal will be ceased. And so I want to assure all our supporters, all our members, that they should remain calm. I remain the national chairman of the party. The party is... Um, Correct. Correct. Sure. Correct. Attack chairman. Correct. Sure. <laughs> Labour, party, Labour Party is a democratic institution. Yes. And you don't use coup d'etat to take over the leadership of At the all. party. That's right. You don't take over the leadership of the party from the back door. What our Papa and Co try to do, although we understand them because they have been paid by their paid masters. Yes, yes. If you look at the statement they have made today, they are talking about the tribunal. Whatever they say is about the tribunal. Whatever they say is about the tribunal. And there's no, it's no longer news that these disgruntled Labour Party members have been paid to truncate the cases in tribunal. If you look at all their interviews, it is tailored towards that. Even today, it is also, they are also talking about the tribunal. And therefore, uh, they are only satisfying their paymasters. So we urge our party members to disregard them. You don't take over the leadership of the party from the back door. Uh, nobody appointed them. <laughs> and the constitution of the party is clear as to how you remove a national chairman, how new one should emerge, who should monitor it, and so on and so forth. So uh, it is very clear that they are trying to satisfy their paymasters. And it's unfortunate that um, this group of people found themselves in Labour Party. But obviously I'm not worried. Because the time has come for us to separate the wheat from the shaft. Yes, uh, yes, the, 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 the party was a small party. And therefore we accommodated all forms of charlatans in the party. All forms of dubious people in the party. These are people who didn't offer anything to the party. Our papa scored zero in your state in the presidential election. Araba B, who is claiming to be the public secretary, scored zero in Oku State in the presidential election. They even supported other candidates in other political parties. They should go and check the record. In Edo, I scored 79% in the presidential I election. I ensured, I ensured that APC and PDP did not get 25% in the presidential election. In the, gov in the House of Assembly election, in spite of the dollars, in spite of the harassment that was deployed by PDP government in Edo State, I am the only national chairman that won my word hands down. My performances as the national chairman of this party is not in doubt. I inherited a party that was I inherited a party that was in areas of salary payment. I inherited a party that has no image and today I have made the party the number one party in Nigeria. In this party I have paid my dues. I've been here for 20 years building this party and today I challenge all other national chairmen of the party, none of them 
have performed to the level I have performed. The records are clear. And, and the records and the records are clear. Yes. And so for charlatans to come and say they, they want to take over the party, we laugh at them, we sympathize with them. And I all Nigerians, whatever information they are getting from them, they are fake news. They try to talk about forgery. What is forgery? Who forged the document? How were those documents forged? Anyway, it is not my intention to talk about that one. But to reassure you that we are in control of the party. Yeah. I remain the national chairman of the party. Yes. Wow. And we are not divided. And, and, I, and I assure you that we continue, we continue to provide leadership. Our cases in court, we continue to defend them. Our House of Prayer cases, we defend them to the end. Our senatorial cases, we defend them to the end. And the presidential election petition will defend to the end. Yes, sir. No amount of distraction will stop us Amen. from attaining it. I listen to you clearly. You are dreaming for a new Nigeria. Yes. And I want to say clearly that no man, no woman, no amount of intimidation, no amount of harassment, no amount of hundred of a papa can stop an idea whose time has come. Yes. The time has come for Nigerians to take back their country. Yes. The time has come for Labour Party to be in government. Yes. And nothing will stop us. Yes. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you. So guys, it's been made very clear that Apapa is working for the APC. They are working for the APC. You can imagine that even after they came out from the courts, he immediately gave Peter Obi's lawyer 48 hours to report to him. So guys, from all indications, it appears very clearly that these people are working for the APC. They just want to destabilize the Labour Party. And you know, the obedience are saying no to Mr. Papa. The obedience are saying no to any factional group in the Labour Party. And the obedience are saying that Julius Abure remains the Labour Party authentic chairman. There is no two ways about it. So all the efforts put in by our Papa are all in vain please don't forget to subscribe to my channel turn on the notification bell please give this video a like so that youtube can recommend it to others and let me know what you think in the comment section below thank you